Well, it's pretty weird. Um, normally, I don't seriously go hard on these little political situations. I say what I gotta say and try to get my point across. Now, I have a son, and my son's of a certain age, pretty like that. And I asked my son, the whole time you were in school, have they ever taught you anything about marriage? He says, no, never. Never been taught anything about marriage in not one class he's ever been in, and he's in high school. Now, they have a Proposition 8. I'm not going to dwell into the proposition, but, you know, one of the commercials in Proposition 8, they say the state of California ignored 400,000 voters. They ignored 400,000 voters, and now they allow gay marriage in California. Proposition 8 would somehow overturn that, blah, blah, yappity, yappity. I'm not going there. So, what I'm trying to say is this. Rhetoric is rhetoric. My son has a couple years left in high school, and nobody has ever taught him anything about marriage one way or the other. Now there are people on San on his ad that if you don't vote yes on Proposition 8, that they're going to start teaching gay marriage in school. First of all, they don't teach homosexuality in school. They don't even teach heterosexuality in school. They don't teach that in school. I mean, it's like they teach people how to reproduce. They don't say, you know, if you put this in your mouth, you can't reduce or uh, reproduce or none of that. You know, they don't go there like that. For these people to get on television and say they're going to start teaching our kids homosexuality in school by the way of teaching them that, about gay marriage, some of these commercials are even more shocking. Got a little girl coming home and saying, yeah, today I learned that a, a princess can marry a princess or some shit like that. It, it, these commercials are becoming disturbing to me. Now, I'm supposed to be a quote-unquote black person with grit of uh, steel and don't give a fuck about anything in life. I know one thing. To stomp on people's civil liberties, forsaking an image or whatever, is... is totally classless, especially upon a group of people who have a certain set of beliefs. What I really want to say is this. What happens in other people's bedrooms should not be anybody's, you know, nobody should care. If a couple people want to get married, nobody should even give a damn. It's not costing you any money. They're not asking you to pay for their wedding. But every time I comment on a situation like this, Gay people, I'm gonna flat out fucking say it. Gay people are like, oh, oh, he's just hating gays. I did a video, say no to gay marriage. It was one of those comedy spoofs where you're making fun of something and at the end of something, you say, well, welcome to reality. Now you get it just like everybody else do. And that's all I was saying in that video. But I'm getting hate shit from gay fucking people. And I'm speaking on this subject right now. This is one of them gay subjects. You know, Proposition 8 has nothing to do with straight people. It's all about gay people. It's a gay people thing. And they're touching on people's fears of gay people. Ooh, I hope they don't turn my son out or my daughter out. But they still go rush their asses to fucking Hollywood and, and look at these goddamn fucking movies. And all these movies are starting to become more and more, you know, they joke with homosexuality in damn near every fucking movie. You don't see them boycotting these fucking uh, big movie companies. Hold oh, no, 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 no. You can just go to the blockbusters that are out right now. You gonna tell me little kids didn't see Tropic Thunder? Oh, no, they didn't, right? You think? You take a fucking poll right now and tell me how many little kids saw Tropic Thunder. Tell me how many uh, little kids saw the other one, um... Pineapple Express. How many little kids saw um, uh, Super Bad? And the list goes on and on. So instead of worrying about someone teaching homosexuality in school, you need to worry about people making homosexuality popular. Oh, it's fun. It's be gay. People, I believe, choose to be gay. Some people believe that they're born to be gay. Whatever you are and whatever makes you the way you are is your business. No matter what you go through in life, the only person in the end you have to answer to is your God. No one else can force their will upon you at all at any time in this country. That's what this whole country is supposed to be about. Freedom. Freedom of the will of expression. 
So if a group of people want to get married, fine. But if everybody says, you know what? No more Christian radio. Because Christian radio somehow is, um, you know, separation of government and state. Since the state owns the uh, airwaves, no more Christian radio. And then people will be like, you're tripping. Christian radio's never hurt nobody. Christians never flipped out and killed people. Only Muslims do. It's stereotypes like that that divide and conquer a nation. People will be calling people on the phone saying, I saw two men holding hands over here in the park. Wait for a big old truck to pull up or a van, snatch the two gay guys up and throw them away. But you'll rush to some titty bar and, uh, you know, try to watch a couple girls going at it. See, so some homosexuality is cool and other homosexuality isn't. Some people should be able to do this and some people shouldn't do that. You know, what's next? Like I say in my videos, once you, once you stop people from being different colors, then you stop people from having different color eyes. Then you stop people from having hair. Then you make everyone look the same. Then you take away their sexuality. Then you grow them in a jar. I don't know. No one man is God. So, I don't know. But if it come, when it comes to issues that have nothing to do with me, like another issue. And if I say this, and I, and I want every lesbian woman out there that sees this to understand exactly what I mean. If there was a law that men had to control over women's reproductive organs and it was on the ballot, what do you think would happen? Now think about this. What if all the women of the world voted for men to be castrated after 19? Twenties, they say you you have to be castrated on your twenty eighth birthday or some shit like that, twenty fifth birthday. What well, if that became a, a on the ballot and a bunch of women were mad and victims against rape and all these people said yes, that's a good idea and and everybody pushed millions and millions of dollars in it for people to be castrated at a certain age. How far can we go with this? Okay, here's another one. Say for instance. A woman has a child, doesn't know who the father is automatically. Well, if there's a law that states the woman loses the child, has to do 15 years in prison for not knowing who her father is, who the baby's father is. Did you vote on that? I think no man has the right to vote on anything that has to do with a female's body. No female should have the right to vote on anything that would impact the way a male body is. Because I can't tell a woman when and when not to have a baby. I can only watch myself to make sure things don't happen. See, if people take these simple things that make no sense at all and blow them way out of proportion. What if someone says, all houses made out of wood need to be redone immediately because the danger of fires you know how many houses in America would have to come down because one man said, you know, this ain't right. So let's stop fiddling in the minds and imaginations and wanting to make things our way or no way. Because in the end, there will be no way. So, vote no on Proposition 8. Let's keep the, the, the ball rolling. If these people want to have the same lives that we have and the same burdens that we have let them have them this is what they want but remember this not everything asked for should be given thus the whole conversation from beginning to end you've been tubed <laughs>